Hey there everyone, Tangent back again with another Steam review looking at just the worst that Steam has to offer for us. Today we're going to be looking at a game called Bloodwood Reload. It's got a 37% negative score out of 367. Once again, it's another free game. It's actually a horror game, which I'm not all that fond of. <laughs> oh yeah, it is my bitch. <laughs> In a small village in Central Europe, something is happening. Why, thank you. Mark Wahlberg, I appreciate you telling me that. Uh, the forest growing around has something different. Its wood is red color, unique in the world. The w its wood is red color, not its wood is red. I suppose in Europe, they don't really know how to talk like us Americans, real good like, so it makes sense that they'd be a little off. But anyway, let's jump right into it and let's see how it goes. Like I said, I don't play horror games much, but here we go. So Nuevo, Nuevo Juego is new game. I'm almost positive that's his opciones. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to see if I can fix this real quick. Alright. Okay, there we go. So I just had to window it. Alright, so the game's not in English, so maybe an opción. Uh, oh, Italian. Yes, we got English, everybody. Alright, new game. Alright, this is what we got. In a small village in Central Europe, something is happening. As the forest growing around it contains something very different. Its wood is colored, like the Europeans say, red, and is unique within the world. This fact has not passed unnoticed by the world's largest logging company, the Whitewood Company. You are one of their best men, and they don't hesitate to send you to take over the exploitation rights. As you reach the village, a chill runs down your back. Your intuition tells you that this will not be easy, and your intuition is something that has, so far, never failed you. That's a lot of commas. Alright. Definitely kooky and spooky. Mouse is a bit sensitive, probably should have changed a hole. Ooh. Boyo's got a little bit of stumble going on. Wonder if homeboy's been drinking a little bit. Oh man. This dude has got like a two inch vertical beer barrel. Ooh, yeah. What is this? Do? Look at beer barrel. I don't know what I expected. It will not move and is sealed. Maybe I can open it with something. All right, fair enough. Oh, man. Frank has been drunk as a skunk for ages. This is how he's walking. This is nice. This ain't actually that bad, honestly. Oh, hello, person, ma'am. How are you today? Your features, they are oh, smooth as butter. My name is Frank. Bates, I have reserved a room at this inn. Why have you come here to our village? Do I tell her the truth? Yeah, I'll tell her I'm a tourist. Tourist? Are you sure? You don't seem like a tourist. Why are you visiting our village? What do you mean I don't look like a tourist? Am I not wearing khaki shorts and Hawaiian shirts? I literally have to tell her that I'm an expert in forestry. Interesting. Which trees would you be interested in? Okay, we'll tell her what I'm doing. We'll tell her that I'm here for the trees. I speak for the trees! Village mayor? We don't have a mayor. The person in charge of this village is the parish priest. You'll find him near the church. Your room is upstairs, but if I were you, leave this village very soon. There is something strange happening here in this village. You can try to talk with Travis, the farmer. Maybe he can tell you more about this medicine. Good luck. Well, thank you, Asta. Here's your key. <laughs> Ooh, hold on, that one. A goblet. I can take the goblet. Nice. This goblet can be useful. I'll take it. Maybe there's a fountain somewhere near. Nice! We got a cup! If I jump, do I die? What? Ghosts! Ooh, an oil lamp. Hell yeah. Yeah, we taking that. We're just gonna steal everything. That is the point of this game. We just nabbing and rabbing. Ooh, what's that? Book? Can I read it? Oh, and matches. Oh, heck yeah. Smart tan and smart. Man, Frank, you gotta lay off the sauce, dude. What are you? A hardened detective from the Branks? Crowbar? A lever. Yes, please. I just so happen to know that there's a barrel over here that wants to be opened. It seems that opens. Nice. So now if I take my cup. Oh my god! I can have beer to drink! Let's go have a party, man! It's my business card. It's pretty amusing. It is made with recycled paper. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. A tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. It even has a watermark. 
Yeah, we're just gonna take a nice little, little stroll. Oh, oh, we found Jesus. What? Why did he howl like a wolf? I'm busy, but, but I come to speaketh about the Lord. Can I, can I give you some beer? It's closed. I claim sanctuary. You let me in. You talk to me, sir. You must cross the bridge, and the headless horseman will no longer be able to harm you. Cause this has got some hella headless horseman vibes going on, though. Can I go in here? Wheelbarrow, <laughs> but not a wheelbarrow. All right, I can go into a barn. I hope they're having a little hoedown. Ah, you must be Travis. How are you, sir? Let me... Let me work in. It was a good talk, Travis. I enjoyed you. I'm gonna let you work in. Ooh, I don't wanna go this way, but it's the only way I haven't gone. Oh, I don't like it. What's that? A stone. Yes, please. I would like a rock. I would very much like a rock. Hmm. I immediately dislike my decision to go this way. I don't want to go to the forest. I must go to town. Okay, so they fundamentally stopped me from going deeper. That's good. They're, they're saving me from myself. So we went to the farm. We went to the church. We didn't go to the church. We were just nearly at the church. So the priest is busy. Travis is working. Esther doesn't like me. And I don't know where to go in this town. So I've been wandering around in this game for borderline an hour now at this point. And so I was wondering, okay, maybe I can find something that tells me that I must be missing something out there. Um, upon reading the reviews, though, I've found that this is basically as far as the game goes. So, I mean, I guess... I guess... Steam review? Detective Frank is a big ol' alcoholic, he's just a fat drunkard, because all we did in this game was find a crowbar, open up some beer so he can fuel his alcoholism, and then wander aimlessly around a town of people that absolutely hate our guts for no reason other than the fact that we're not from there. That is basically my review of Bloodwood Reload. So, um, once again, I'm just gonna put in a quick little uh, review of this game. <laughs> Anyway guys, that was my review of Bloodwood Reload, the scariest, worst game on all of Steam in the sense that there's nothing scarier than being bored to death. I've been Tanangent, you've been awesome, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you think, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. You guys have a great rest of your day and I'll catch ya.